Are you tired of having to get in and out of your vehicle so that you can raise and lower the kingpin on your fifth wheel when you're hooking up and unhooking? Well, SkillAboveRVTesters.com has released a new product that will allow you to run your hydraulic system from inside your vehicle. This device, which is the freehand hitch helper, installs in less than two minutes. Let's show you guys how it's installed. To install the freehand hitch helper, the first thing we're going to do is locate our leveling controller. This particular one is in the generator bay. There is no generator, but it is up underneath the kingpin. And we're gonna unplug the nine pin connector. You will notice that you have a harness on one end and a plug on the board. So we will look at the hitch helper and we will notice that it will only plug in one way. The other end of the hitch helper will have the other end of that nine pin connector on it and it's going to plug into the leveling controller. Now that that is plugged in, we find a nice place to attach this box out of the way. Once we get it attached, we will turn it on, but there is a power switch underneath, so keep that in mind. Level it up. Now that it is installed, you're gonna turn it on. Once you turn it on, you are gonna hear a click. That is typical. Now this system is installed, it is time for us to download the app and start using it. Once you search for Hitch Helper by Skill Above. We will see that this is the Hitch Helper by Skill Above. We are going to hit Get. This will be on Android and Apple Play, or Apple Store. All right, now that it is downloaded, we're gonna hit Open. It is going to want to use your location, and the reason for this being is it's just actually a safety feature we are making sure that the unit or the RV is not traveling down the road and somebody asks the jacks to move. If you're traveling down the road, your jacks can and will not deploy. So we're going to allow while using the app. Okay, this app would also like to use your Bluetooth. This is how it's gonna communicate from inside the vehicle all the way back here to your control box. So we're gonna allow it. Okay, now that we have that set up, now we have to connect to it. We're going to start scan. These are all the different devices that it sees. So there's a couple of STLs and a hitch helper. We are going to ask to connect to the hitch helper. The hitch helper, has, this particular one has a default pin of four zeros. So zero, 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 zero. The first time you power this up, you should be able to set your own PIN number. If you cannot, it will be the last four digits of the serial number on the side of the box. Okay, now we are connected to it and we will be able to raise and lower the kingpin. The down arrow means the jacks are gonna go down, which is going to raise the RV up. The up arrow is going to retract the jacks, which means the nose of the RV is going to go down. Right now, RV is going down, and the RV is going up. When we were done, we just close the, app, close the app out and we go to open the app back up. It will not let you do anything until you connect. 
and put in your password again. That way nobody inadvertently logs into the app and moves your RV.